brand new uh, wireless neckband speaker that Sony just released. It's the SRS NB10 and it is a neckband speaker that you basically can use in the office for uh, taking your different um, calls from your cell phone, listening to music, uh, using it for Teams calls, Zoom calls, things like that. Now, it's a lightweight uh, rechargeable speaker headset um, and we're going to be talking about all the features of it, how to set it up, and any uh, pluses and minuses to the speaker. So uh, let's get started. All right, so let's open it up, see what we get here. So you open up the box, you're going to obviously get the neckband speaker itself. And then underneath the cover here, we got a little box. We open up this, we've got a bunch of documentation. So a little quick start guide and some of the normal stuff that comes with all this electronic stuff. And then we have a, a cable here. This is a USB-C uh, cable, um, super short. So unless your laptop is right next to you on the desk, this is probably gonna be too short and you're gonna have to buy another cable. Um, it uh, doesn't come with a charger either, so you're gonna have to get a charger or you plug this into your computer, one of the two. So um, for me, uh, I think I'm set because I have an Apple charger with a long uh, USB-C cable, but maybe something that uh, you may have to buy or purchase an extra piece for it. And that's uh, pretty much it. That's all you get in the box. All right, so it does come with the normal quick start guide, which is all pictures and no words, right? So you just have to kind of look at it. But basically all it's telling you on this is that first thing you have to do is uh, plug in your cable into the charging port. It says it takes about, oh, four hours to uh, fully charge. Um, the little light will be on when it's empty. It'll be off when it's fully charged. And then it just tells you to unplug it. So. The way you do that is on the neckband itself, there's a little port right here that you have to take the little rubber cover open and you plug in your cable and then you charge it up. So I've already charged this up, so it's ready to go, but that's your first step. And then on the other side here, the second step is the Bluetooth pairing process. So there's a little Bluetooth symbol right there, tells you how to uh, hold the power button down for five seconds. You get double blinking lights, blue lights looks like, and then you uh, go to your device, make sure your Bluetooth is on and, and uh, searchable, and then uh, you pair it. And then the third portion here is just some basic operation with the volume and the mute button, and that's pretty much it. Now, what you wanna do on this is hit this barcode with your cell phone so that you can pull up the full manual. The full manual is actually like 75 pages and there's a lot more that you can do with this headphone set uh, than appears basically from this little quick start or for the buttons on there. And if you don't get the manual, you're not gonna know some of the features that are available. We're gonna go over them, but just FYI, take your smartphone, scan this barcode and you'll come up with the manual. Okay, so when you scan your code, um, you're gonna come up with the manual here and basically you can see I've got a whole bunch of stuff I can choose from uh, to look through, but there's also a printable PDF right here that you could select, and it'll come up with a guide you could actually print out. You can see here it's 75 uh, pages at the top here, so um, lots of information in here. So make sure you get this guide because everything we're going to go over is going to be inside this guide. All right, so before we get started on all the, the uh, functioning of it, let's talk about some of the features of this uh, neckband speaker. First of all, you can see it's a neckband spe speaker, goes around your neck. It has a sort of a flexible uh, back to it. That's how you get it around your neck. It's, it is rubber, but it is not sticky rubber. It's nice and smooth. Um, it has uh, two speakers here. You can see these are cloth uh, covers right here on the two speakers. These are kind of lined up with your ears, so the sound goes straight up from the speaker to your ear. It has two microphones on it. There's one here and one here in these little holes, and they call it a microphone array, uh, which is supposed to be better uh, to pick up your voice. And then it has a couple of buttons on this side. You can see there's a, a plus, a minus, and a middle button right there. And on the other side here, there's a mute button and then you have your power button with the little Bluetooth symbol next to it. And then there's a little light here. Oops, sorry, wasn't showing that correctly. So there is the mute power, the light, and then of course your charging port is right here. 
And that's pretty much it. On the back, you just have the ports uh, for the speakers, and that's all there is to it. So, now this comes in two colors. You can get it in charcoal or what they call white. Um, so charcoal obviously is a dark gray. This is the white version. Although, if you're looking for apple type of white, right, bright white, this is not it. It's actually not white, it's light gray. So if I take this uh, little thing I have here and you can see this is white and you know, put it next to it, you can see it's not white, it's light gray. So just FYI, if you're a big fan of uh, pure white, this is not it. It's basically, they should have called it just light gray, but no big deal. Okay, so uh, a couple of features of this. Obviously, um, it's a Bluetooth capable device. It can connect to two uh, devices. So it is a, a multi-connect Bluetooth device. So you can connect it to your cell phone, say, and then your, your work uh, PC. Um, it has uh, 20 hours of battery life, which is one of the main reasons I purchased it. Uh, the headset I have right now is uh, made by a pretty famous uh, manufacturer and kind of looks like this, goes over my ear. The problem with it is it only lasts about six hours or so and it doesn't really get me through my work day. And then, you know, at the end of the day, it's disconnecting me from conference calls. It's a real pain. Um, the other thing about it is the Bluetooth range on my old one is really terrible. It it only goes like, you know, four feet or so. And if I go into the next room, it disconnects on me. So I'm hoping this one will be better because this is supposed to have 30 meters, which is about 98 feet of range. So hopefully this is much, much better and a much more stable connection and I won't lose it because sometimes I'm on a call and I just want to get a drink of water because my, you know, uh, throat's getting dry and I can uh, just jump into the kitchen, grab some water, and I don't want it to disconnect on me. So that's uh, the other feature, which is the range. And um, the other thing is it's supposed to be so lightweight and comfortable that you don't even know it's there. So we'll find that out too. And then it has just some basic uh, functions on it, like being able to accept calls, uh, end calls, volume controls, and then uh, of course the mute button. So. We're gonna test out all these features and see if it all works. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is charge it up like the instructions said. And when you do, this little light right here is gonna glow orange and it'll stay glowing orange until it's charged and then it'll go out. So that's your indicator uh, on that. And this little light changes different colors depending what it's doing or trying to do. And um, the other thing is uh, it has voice prompts on it, which when you turn it on or mute it or do different things with it, you actually hear a voice speak and telling uh, you kind of what it's doing. So when you power it on, it tells you it's powered on. When you mute it, it tells you it's muting the mic and things like that. So it has voice prompts that go along with it. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is power it on. Now, if you haven't uh, paired it with anything yet, when you power it on the first time, it immediately goes into pairing mode and you're gonna see double lights blinking. Uh, so if you have paired it, then it'll just turn on and you'll hear it. So let me just hold the button down, the power button for a second, and then uh, just listen to it. Power on. So you heard power Bluetooth on. Bluetooth connected. And you see it says Bluetooth connected because I've actually already paired it and it was blue uh, blinking the light there. But when you hold the button down for five seconds, it'll immediately go into pairing mode and then you can actually pair it with your device. And this pairs with any, just like any other Bluetooth device. So once it's in pairing mode, it stays there for five minutes, which is really nice because you don't have to rush. Then you're gonna go over to your device. In my case, it's in the cell phone and you're gonna go into your settings, right? So if I go into my settings here and then you're gonna go to Bluetooth, right? You're gonna go and find your device and once you find it, you just hit connect and then it'll just connect and you're set to go and you're, you're paired. And you're gonna do the same thing on your PC, um, your laptop if you have one, or whatever it is, uh, to pair it with that too. So you can pair up to two devices. Okay, so if you wanna power it off, it's the same thing, just hold the button down. Power off. And it'll tell you the power's off, okay? 
So that's the power on and power off procedure. Now, it does have a feature on it that you won't know about unless you read the manual, which is an automatic power off function. And this is uh, adjustable. So basically what it does is if the um, headset is left unused for 15 minutes, then, uh, or after the Bluetooth connection is uh, terminated, which either or, it'll automatically turn the uh, neckband speaker off uh, to save the battery power. But if you don't want that to happen, you can actually change it so it never goes into automatic power off. And the way you do that is you press and hold the power button uh, and the volume minus button at the same time for about five seconds or so and then uh, you're gonna get some flashes on the light in orange and it'll tell you it's deactivated. So three flashes uh, means it's deactivated and two flashes means it's activated. And what that, the reason you'd wanna turn it off is if you are using it like I am for conference calls, use in between conference calls all day long, you don't want it constantly powering off all day long because then it's gonna disconnect from your Bluetooth, right? And you're gonna have to repower it on and go through that every single time and you don't want to have to go through that. So for me, I actually am going to power it off. And again, you just take the uh, minus button on this side right here and the power button, you hold them at the same time and you're going to see your three little flashes right here, which is powered off. So I've already set this to turn off the auto power off function, um, but you can turn it on and off and that's one of the features on it, which is kind of a nice feature. They thought that out. so. Uh, again, read the manual because you're going to have all kinds of features you can turn on and off inside here that you may not know about. All right, so then you're going to need to connect this to your um, computer. And again, the way you do that is you just go to settings and computer. You're going to get to Bluetooth and other devices. You're going to say add a Bluetooth device. When you click that, it's going to say Bluetooth device. And then you're going to basically pick your device off the list that you have. Now mine's already paired here, you can see down here, so um, I don't have to do it again, but basically you would go through your list, find your, um, your Bluetooth device, and you'd be all set. And then you can uh, connect it, and then it'll be connected to your machine. Then at your volume control down here, it'll be one of your choices that you can select. Um, if you can see down here, so to one of my choices, so I could use my PC speakers or the headphones, so either or. And then once you're connected there, um, there will be another process we'll go over uh, to do what they call a multi-point connection. But the first thing you have to do is connect the two devices that you wanna use with your uh, headphones. So you connect my cell phone first, and then I connected my PC. You do that separately, and then there's an extra step uh, when you want to do a multi-point connection. All right, so how do you actually uh, use this? So when you wanna just play music like off your phone, you would go to your playlist and you'd pick something. I'm gonna pick some old classical music that's not copyrighted anymore so they don't get flagged on YouTube for copyright and then they flag the video. Um, but obviously you can use any music you want to. But uh, once you have your playlist or your song open, ready to go, right, and it's playing, you just hit this button on the um, headset right here, this big one in the middle, and it'll basically start playing. And you can use the plus and minus to up or in, and down the volume. If you hear that sound, it means you're at max volume. Okay. And then if you want to skip a track, it's double click right here on that same big button. So you just double click it. And it'll start the next track. If you want to go in reverse, then you do three clicks. And that starts you at the beginning of the same track or if you get to the beginning of the same track and you do three clicks again, then it'll go to the previous track. So let me go to the beginning of this and then I'll do it again to get to the next track. Beginning. And that's the previous track. There's a little delay on these old uh, MP3s I have for this, so but normally it would start right away between the songs when you do that. 
So again, it's a double click to go uh, next track and it's a triple click to go the previous track. What you can also do with this button is fast forward with it. So the way you do that is you click it and then you immediately hold it. Um, so click and hold. Now it's fast forwarding through the track basically and then when you let go, it'll be whatever point you stopped. Okay, and you can do uh, the same thing for the reverse direction, I believe. Okay, so if you want to go the reverse direction, then you it's a double click and then hold. So, so there it's uh, skipping rever in the reverse direction. And then you let it go. And you're all set. And those are the basic functions of the uh, skipping forward and back, fast forwarding forward and back, and then you have, of course, the minus to lower the volume and the plus to make the volume higher. And that's how you would use it with your device if you were just playing music. So how do you make phone calls or take phone calls with it? Okay, so now how do you uh, make and take calls with the headset? So basically, you're just gonna use this center button to answer a call or end a call as a call comes in. So if I'm making a call out, right, I'm just gonna, if I'm connected, right, I'm just gonna dial the number and that's pretty much it. So if I just dial uh, my uh, speakerphone I have on my desk over here, I'm just gonna dial that out from my cell phone and then uh, you'll see how it answers. So let me just uh, dial this number. Once you dial it, right, you're always going to get your, your same thing where you have your choices of what you want to choose. It's ringing. I'm going to answer it. Hello? Hello? So you can hear it through the speakers here, and you can hear my voice coming through this microphone, right? So I'm now talking through the headset. And then if I was done with my call, I could just hit this center button and it ends the call. Simple as that. Okay, so that's how you make a call. Now, if you... Okay, now if you're receiving a call, I'm just gonna call my cell phone. And... Of course, you're gonna hear your cell phone. And then you're just gonna hit this button again. Hello? Hello? So you can hear uh, the echo because I'm here, right? I can also mute. So you can see I said mute and now I don't have any echo, right? Unmute and there I can hear it again. And you, you probably didn't hear it. Let me turn this up here. But it said uh, mute on. Mic off. Mic on. So you get mic on and mic off. Let me end that call because that is like really annoying. But basically it's because, you know, normally that wouldn't happen because I've got my uh, two phones right next to each other here with mics and everything like that. But very easy, right? You receive a call on your cell phone. You just hit that button. Um, and if you are making a call, you just dial out from your cell phone. And then uh, when they answer, it'll connect automatically. Now, now that I'm not making a call, if I hit this button again in the center... It goes right back to my music, so I can start playing music again. So pretty easy, right? Pretty standard with any other uh, Bluetooth headset, kind of all works the same way. Now, if I'm on my computer, it'll be a different story because I'll have the computer connected and I'll be able to use the volume control in the... Um, system tray basically to decide my device and I'm always going to have it set to my headphones so when I uh, attend a, a Teams meeting or something like that it'll just immediately be connected and I'll be all set to go. Okay so before we get into the uh, multi-connection uh, setup let's talk about a couple of features that are on it. One of them is called uh, there's codecs on here that basically support two different um, settings. One is called priority on sound quality, which is the default setting. And it's basically an optimal codec uh, for your music. 
And then there's one called priority on stable connection, uh, which is a, a different setting if you're having problems with the Bluetooth connection. So if your connection is unstable for some reason, which it really shouldn't be, but if for some reason it is, that you have this setting that you can switch to, it will lower the sound quality a little bit, but you'll get a more stable Bluetooth connection. Um, and the way you do that is you press and hold the that center button right here, that big minus button in the center here, and the mute button on the uh, other side over here, and you hold them for about two seconds. And then when you do that, you'll get some flashes again in blue in this time. And uh, if it flashes twice, you've set it to priority on sound quality. Um, if it flashes three times, you set it to priority on stable connection. But again, I would leave it at the default unless you're having a problem with your Bluetooth connection, um, uh, which you probably won't on this particular case. But if for some reason you've got interference or something's going on uh, in your particular setup, you do have that setting. All right, so let's just talk about the little light that's on the side here. The flashing and the colors of the lights make a difference of, you know, you know, basically telling you what's going on. So when you turn it on, you get just two quick blue flashes. Um, you will get 10 slow orange flashes if your uh, battery power is 20% or lower. So it's just kind of warning you a little bit and um, it will, uh, when it gets really low, there'll be a point where it won't be able to function anymore and then it'll eventually shut off. So, you know, just so you're aware of that. So there's a whole sheet and all the different types of uh, colors and how many flashes there are and that little thing that tell you what's going on with the, the system. So again, all those settings we talked about like automatic power on and off and priority settings and stuff like that will all be in the guide so that you can know you've got the right flashes and everything set up correctly. All right, so I think the, the, uh, one of the other things that you have to worry about for the setup is the multi-point connection. Now, if you're just using this with one device, you don't have to do any of this. But if you're using it with two devices, basically if you want to keep the Bluetooth connection active on both devices, you have to decide which one is going to be for music and which one is going to be for telephone calls. And so um, if you don't, what happens is when you switch between the devices, basically one disconnects, right? And then like suppose I'm on my computer here and I'm connected taking phone calls and then I get a little bit of a break and I want to listen to some music on my cell phone. My cell phone's going to be disconnected. So I'm going to have to go over to the cell phone and make a reconnection under the settings for my Bluetooth connection and then it'll work. But if you want it to be more seamless so you don't have to keep making these connections back and forth, what you have to do is make one of them for sort of audio music and one for telephone. So on my uh, uh, PC right here, if you go under devices and printers, and then you find your headset, which is SRS NB10 right here, and you go to properties, um, when you go to the... Uh, I think it's under services here you're going to have all these little check boxes right here and so if i only want this to be for telephone i'm going to uncheck the audio sync right and this is going to be for telephone only now on this device so if i hit apply there and okay so now this is for the telephone and you can see down here if i go to my thing i'm still uh i'm going to connect this uh to my Oh, sorry, I'm gonna, I have to reconnect this because I did uh, jump over to the cell phone, so you see it did disconnect, right? So I'm going to have to go back to my settings here. Devices. Um, and then I've got my headphones right here. I just have to reconnect them. Bluetooth connected. So you heard it said Bluetooth connected, right? And now if I down go down to my volume control, you can see I have my choice for my headset right here. So I'm connected. So now I'm connected to this. But if I go over here to my um, cell phone now, and I'm gonna go back to my music, and I'm gonna just play it again. You see how it's still connected and it's still playing, okay? And if I go back to my uh, PC here, and I go down here, you can see I'm still connected. Oops, you can't. 
you can see I'm still connected right here. But if I had left that the way it was before, um, it would have disconnected on me and I would have had to reconnect over here on my headphones, okay? So you have to you have to kind of decide which way you want to go with it. Okay, so with this multi-point connection, if you've set your PC to telephone, then on your um, um, iPhone, right, or your Android phone, you could play music. And you can control the music, right, just like we showed before, so I could pause it and start it up again, right? So you have choices there on, on what you can do with the music, okay? But because it, the telephone portion is connected with the, the uh, PC right now, if I try to make a call with this, um, so let me just make a call here. Okay, it's ringing the phone here, so I'm gonna answer it. And then if I try to talk through this or do anything, it, it's not connected right now. Um, because if I go look at the uh, PC itself, it's still connected over there for telephone. So if I tried to hung, hang up, it doesn't do anything. So really this is connected for music right now and not the phone, okay? If I go to my iPhone right here and I go to my settings, for Bluetooth, and I do a, a, another reconnect, right? And now you can see, you can hear it. It's echoing, right? But now I'm talking through the phone here, and I can hang up. So it's it's kind of funny because uh, you have sort of one or the other, but you can't have two connected to a telephone even though they're two different systems, right? The PC is going through like the PC's uh, telephone, like on Teams meetings and stuff, but on your cell phone, it's a different connection, but you can't have two of the same, right? It's one or the other. So obviously I'm gonna leave my PC set to telephone only, and then this will be uh, ready to go. But all you have to do basically is go into your settings here and reconnect. Even though it says connected, you actually have to just tap it to reconnect it again. Uh, to let it know that you want the telephone over here. However, on your PC, it's going to disconnect your telephone. So, one piece that uh, really could use improvement, it would have been nice for the telephone portion if there would have been a button here or something you could switch between the two connected Bluetooth devices. But it's kind of not the way Bluetooth works. You know, it's always one connection or the other. Um, they're keeping separate connections if you have music, but uh, it's a different story when you're talking about two sources for telephone calls. So just something to keep in mind. Um, and if you do have to keep switching back and forth, right, you could technically uh, just keep the, uh, the PC with all those settings checked so that you could play music over there too if you wanted to. So it's totally up to you guys. But just FYI, there is that one little drawback with it. Oh, one other thing just about the pairing. This will actually pair up to eight devices. So that's different than using eight devices simultaneously, but it will pair, which means it will remember the information. So like if you paired this with your, I don't know, say you had a Bluetooth in your car, in your stereo system, and you had it on your cell phone, you had it on your PC, you had um, something, some other source that had a Bluetooth uh, connection on it. Maybe you have a couple of PCs. It, you can actually uh, connect this and pair it with all those pieces up to eight devices. And then if you pair another one past eight, it'll delete the earliest one um, off the list. So, but, so they'll be permanently paired and that way when you go to your device, you can just reconnect it anytime you want to. So that, that's a nice feature that you can do up to eight devices with this and have them kind of set up and paired. Again, you can't have those all connected at the same time, but you can have all the pairing information stored in there so that you don't have to repair it every time you want to switch between your different devices. So really nice feature. Okay, so uh, one other thing I want to talk about is the range of this Bluetooth. So I'm wearing it right now, you can see it right here, and basically what I've done is in my office right here, I've gone all the way up to the other end of the house on the second floor, the farthest point from where I am right now, to see if it would still stay connected, and it did. 
uh, that would have never happened with my old Bluetooth set. So the range and the quality of the connection seems to be really, really good. So that's a good thing. Now I can walk around the house in different rooms while I'm on calls and I don't have to worry about it disconnecting. So thumbs up for that one. The other thing is that you can see that it, it's wrapped around my neck here, super lightweight. And all the claims they make about you won't feel it, you'll, it'll sort of disappear and you won't even know it's there, totally true. Uh, I can't believe how lightweight it is. I can't feel it. I don't have to worry about earbuds falling out. I don't have to worry about having headphones on that are you know hurting my ears and messing up my hair and all that kind of stuff. So thumbs up on the uh, wearability factor on it too. So pretty good and I'm pretty satisfied so far. So I'm super excited next week to uh, use it with work and, and see how it pans out. All right guys, so that's it for today's review of the Sony SRS NB10 wireless neckband speaker. I think I'm gonna give it a thumbs up on this one. Um, the only thing that uh, could use improvement is if they had some kind of a way to keep two devices that were uh, telephone devices uh, connected so you didn't have to reconnect as you're switching back and forth between them. Uh, but other than that, uh, fantastic uh, range for the Bluetooth. Uh, really lightweight, you won't even feel it. The speakers are uh, geared towards pointing the sound right to your ears. The only thing I will say is that please do not think that this is like some kind of a high-end speaker system that you're going to use with your music and it's going to sound fantastic. You have to remember, because this is so lightweight, right, um, you're not going to get that full range speaker. There, it, the sound is okay, it's, it's not bad, but it's certainly not going to be a full range speaker like, you know, if you had earbuds in or over the ear headphones or something like that. The other thing you have to keep in mind is that because it's an open air speaker, uh, there's nothing private about it either. So everybody will be able to hear either your music or your phone calls or whatever it is that you have with this device. Um, and so if, if you're out in the park, just walking around with it or running or something like that, then they're gonna hear your music. The nice thing about it is it won't fall off, right? Your earbuds won't fall out and everything like that if, you're, if you are outside. but you're not necessarily gonna get that full range sound. And I think uh, people have too high expectations for that. This was really geared towards the home office and people working at home. Uh, Sony has another neck band uh, speaker system that they, they've had out, which is much bigger than this. Big, huge speakers on the side that kind of used for home for gaming and like home theater situations and stuff. But this is not that. This is just a... Uh, a neck band speaker that can play music, but it's really geared towards the home office and uh, doing things like conference calls and things like that. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the review and it helps you out in making a decision if you'd like to purchase this product. I give it a thumbs up just because of the convenience and the connectivity and uh, the way it feels. And it's gonna be great for my long days at work on all my conference calls, so looking forward to it. So again, I'll see you next time on the next video and um, stay tuned for some uh, exciting stuff coming up in the audio video world.